Okay, what the crap OBS? I'm using the same audio settings that I used for my XCOM 2 stream, and that one was constantly peaking audio. This isn't the same audio device, it's the same audio settings. What the heck? Anyway, um, there's an Asian kitty right here. He's being very cuddly. So good kitten internet. I have one at least. He's been a very good kitten lately. Um, so a bit of housekeeping before I start playing. That's the reason why there's no game that way. There we go. Uh, first off, so today for me is the 5th of October. So the day before this goes live, I believe. And obviously I don't have a backup or a queue of videos available at the moment. I'm going to be making one because announcement number two, I'm going to be flying to Norway almost exactly two weeks from right now. Uh, two weeks and an hour from now will be my departure time. So, ah, I need to do lots of prep. Um, I may end up trying to record some, well, I'm going to record some video while I'm in Norway, but that's probably going to be more vlog style rather than stream recording, game report recording type style. I don't know yet. Um, I can't even test out that machine at the moment because it doesn't have any RAM in it. Uh, that machine being the one that I'll be taking with me to Norway. So I'm probably going to be recording a whole bunch of these all at once. Which means I may not be able to react too much to what you all are saying. I'm hoping to be able to record enough in advance where I don't necessarily need to record while I'm in Norway in order to fit with my schedule. Or at the very least, I'll just stretch my schedule a little bit because it's not that big of a deal. I'm not making money off of this. It's not that big of a problem. Uh, unfortunately, you're not going to get kitty cam this video because I don't currently have my webcam plugged in. And since there's a cat in my lap, I'm not going to try to disturb him. As I was saying, he's being a really good kitty. Uh, he and his brother have actually started getting along last night. For some bizarre reason, they were acting like what they used to. Perfectly comfortable around each other. No chattering. No crying. Nothing. It was perfectly normal. Uh, that didn't keep up this morning, but there's still no signs of fighting. There's no signs of anything other than hesitation, which is great news. All right, let's get RetroPie, RetroPie, RetroArc running. Ah, sorry, my brain's a little muddled today. I have had a bunch of job stuff going on. Um, it helps to actually launch the application in order to launch the application. I know this is a shock to everyone. Okay. Um, so let's see, what else has been going on? I've been, you may have saw the video of me testing out various forms of pirate, so you can tell that I've been running things. My phone just gave me a text message. Uh, Pat? Pat is trying to hold on to my phone. That does not work. Ah, something I can deal with later. So let's go ahead and relaunch the game. Hopefully audio capture is going to work. I am keeping track of that just in case. <sighs> oh, that is definitely using the wrong audio device. It's capturing correctly, but it's coming out the wrong audio device. That's my fault. Please come out the correct audio device. No one wants to hear that horrible, terrible thing. Oh, I'm going to have to restart RetroArch, aren't I? Yep, I'm going to have to restart RetroArch. One moment. There we go. Now I don't have utter garbage audio quality. Huh? Yes. Only the camera is tilted slightly down, down slightly further. Then you'd be able to see Isun being really cute right now. Uh, it no longer has my controller settings? What the heck? One moment again. All right, that I don't know why my remap file suddenly disappeared. Uh, for reference, this is obviously not a Sega Saturn controller. So a Sega Saturn controller has six face buttons rather than the four that you see on the Xbox style controller. So what I end up doing is that I'm only mapping the buttons that I'm using. So accept and cancel in the case of Vandal Hearts for the face buttons. 
and the rest are just being mapped to controls that I'm actually going to use in the game. There are some buttons that are just not used on the Saturn for this version of the game. So I don't. Anyway, where we last left off, we suplex the train um, and suplex Dallas straight off the train. And we have begun our promotions. In fact, I think we are finished with our promotions. Yes, we are. Well, other than one member of the party, or I should say one traitor to the party. So that's where we're at at this point. We don't need to go back to Carlos Mansion. But what we do need to do is go into the tavern. Because if you remember, there was this man that was sitting here that's a collector roaming in all over the world in search for peculiar objects and ancient relics. Oh, I'll be damned. You have them, the three sacred treasures. The mythical relic, Macroman. The legendary masterpiece, Rider Car. The ultimate dish, Heavy Ramen. All right, I give up. I have to honor your collector's efforts somehow. Here, take this. You get the chaos key. So for reference, we will actually start using these once we have our full party, like I had mentioned before. And we are still down a member of the party after all. Let's go get her. And well, first, let's go ahead and talk to everybody else. I think everybody's still saying the same things. I should move myself view for somewhere a little more interesting than me constantly staring like this. At least this way, I can just glance over and it's fine. And all of these things are the same. A man's garbage is another man's treasure. Huh. All right. That was a weird glitch. We should check to make sure we have all of our healing items because this is the last battle of the. Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, we are actually full up. Never mind. This is the last battle of the chapter. So, that means that we will have the abrupt cut without a save and continuing on to the next video afterward. Good time for me to need to actually do all of this, I suppose. So, it's time for us to leave town. Oh, and the reason why RetroArch is so messed up with my settings at the moment is just because of... I just noticed that the aspect ratio is off. One moment. Has it always had those letterboxes? I don't think it has. Uh, I'm gonna fix this. Hold on. The answer is yes, those borders were always there and I just didn't notice. As I was saying, the reason why my RetroArch deployment seems so messed up is because I had to make a lot of changes to make some of those pirates ports work properly. Namely, there are certain emulators that do not agree with the um, RGB filter that I'm running to make things look like, well, they actually look like. So, that messed up a lot of my settings. I wasn't expecting the controller settings change. But then again, it... Oh, that type of thing never happened before. Um, I also had to change the controller settings again when I just restarted it now, so I think RetroArch is glitching. <sighs> kind of you to arrive. Kiro! Clint, don't give them the royal ring! Now, what good does that do by saying that? We'll give you the ring. Just let her go. Hand over the ring to my little friend here. <laughs> the ring. And now the hostage. already moving and then seem to have misplaced the key to stop it. What? Also, I'm noticing some graphical glitches. Sorry, it was an accident, not my fault. 
you understand. Anyway, toodles. See now today. That evil rot. We've got to destroy the death trap. So there's a really interesting thing about this battle, but first I want to check out and see what in the world glitch sprite was that. So yes, I have eight turns and the defeat condition is death of Ash or Kira. Okay, those are fine. Yeah, what are you? You're an egg worm. What? Why are you glitched? What is going on? That's not the way they're supposed That's the way they're supposed to look. I'm not sure if this is a glitch in my emulation or a glitch in the Saturn board. Also, why is that in question marks? I have, like, save corruption? I hope not. So these are just normal egg worms. We've seen them before. So, hold on a moment. I'm going to save in-game here. And then I'm going to load up... Um, not the current battle, not the train battle, but the battle before. Because that battle did have egg worms in it. I want to see if it's a pellet issue. Or if it's a game issue. So, one moment. I'm going to pause so you don't have to watch all the plot. The answer is yes, it is in fact glitched on that battle too, and I know it wasn't when I recorded it. So that means that there's something else wrong with my emulator settings. Give me a bit. And back and fixed. It turned out to have actually been an emulator issue, where the latest version of the emulator broke it. So for future reference, if you are using RetroArch and you see that problem, what you do is you go into the menu, you go over to the settings tab. You go down to, I'm uh, oh, sorry, not setting, was it in settings? It was, yeah, settings, core, manage cores. You find the emulator in question. In this case, I am using Kronos for Sega Saturn. And then first off, you scroll all the way down to restore backup. It will restore the last or last few, I'm not sure which, um, versions of the core. And then, as I'm about to do, you select Lock Installed Core so I never have to deal with that garbage again. Alright, let's actually get back to the game. Now that things actually look right, they do have question marks. Okay. So, there's a few weird... My controls are still messed up. One moment... Alright, now that that's been taken care of, and I've spent 13 minutes not actually playing the game, let's go ahead and start explaining how this battle map is a little on the weird side. So first off, as usual, we have egg worms up really high. They're relatively high level too, level 19 now. We have some gold golems down below who are level 20. We've got skelly bros. Those are new units. Uh, they're standard sorts of people. They actually new? They might not be new. Of the new units, I know that acid ghosts are new for us. I'll give you a hint, they poison things because everything likes to poison. Uh, we also have this Doom Angel who has the ability, who is a priest like character, who has the ability to cast two offensive spells. There are two Doom Angels total. We have these things, which are the same type of device that we had to fight in that weird land beyond time type of thing. And then Kira. Yes, Kira is an enemy in this battle. A level one enemy with 14 hit points. Now, normally you can't reach her. She is really high up. You don't have spells that can reach that high. But there are two situations that you can. One situation is when you're on the last round, and this has dropped almost all the way down to the lava. Which is a thing. And the second situation, where you have spells that you're not normally supposed to have because you're higher level than normal. Here it can actually be in the area of effect of some area of effect spells. And that is a loss condition. I don't know why Kira is considered to be an enemy in this battle instead of using the guest feature that it obviously has because we saw Clive use it. 
So it's something to be aware of that we're going to need to check our areas of effect when it comes to things like phase shift. We can hit Kira. That would be bad. Uh, also, I need to check. I don't believe there's anything in this battle that we need to care about, but I'm going to double check it really fast. Okay, so this is Fort Dane. Um, okay, the hidden items are non-essential, but there are a couple. That's one. And let's see if I can spot the other one. As usual, I really wish I could just set those up. There's it. So yeah, there's a couple of items. None of them are essential or anything like that. They're just fillable things, I think. Okay, so our actual objective is that these need to all die. There are eight of them total. All eight need to be destroyed within eight rounds. That's it. That's our objective. What I'm going to try to do is kill everything. Because why not? Can I get a new magic? Nope, just red force. Yeah, you can see that phase shift's AoE is definitely not enough to hit Kira. Even if I was standing up here, it wouldn't be enough to hit Kira. Um, what about that main message? Okay, so. That egg is going to be a pain in the posterior. Luckily, it looks like they're on the other side. So they're gonna move uh, here might be a problem and here might be a problem well that spot's probably fine i don't think it's a, no it probably isn't a problem that's a pretty large mountain to jump over and also it should be relatively equivalent to diego's range keep in mind i am shooting uphill to hit that his range has gone on really far now. Yeah, I wouldn't expect the egg to be able to get too much more than about here. Okay. So. We could just shoot that thing. Or shoot Skelly Bro. How far can Skelly Bro reach? Very far, okay. start taking things out. Dead. 75 XP. Dang. Oh yes, Darius is a Skylord. We finally got him to wear pants. Because somebody's gotta. We have a relatively balanced party now. Well, we'll have a more balanced one once Kira rejoins. It's not exactly a surprise that we're down one party member. Kira is not a part of the party at the moment. Thunderflash. It's a larger area of effect around us all. Movement is trash. I swear it's gone down and not up. Okay. A lot of movement. Yep, that's what I expected to have happen. We get to see Clint's new attack. A really awkward sword strike, if I do say so myself. And you're going to be attacking Ash, right? Yeah. But you're attacking shield side, so... And that rainbow swoop. Oh, Ash. It's a 
doesn't look like anybody else is moving. Hmm. I would have actually expected the Ickworms to try to move around. And round one is complete. Hero gets lowered down further to the ground. XP than killing a level 20 skeleton. Thanks, Vandal Hearts. Your XP system makes no sense. Amazing. See, that attack doesn't look like Darius is pole dancing, at least. It just looks awkward, just like most of these promoted attacks. It's gonna be a thing. Oh, right, I haven't killed that guy yet. Have I mentioned how much I like the Hawks? Because I really like Hawks. attack range. Isn't it not glorious? Actually, let's not bother taking out that one. Let's pick on the poor gold golem. I mean, I don't do a huge amount of damage to them because they have gobs of defense, but it's just fun. And they can't attack back at that range, right? Yeah. Dolan barely able to walk up a hill and has that really heavy armor. Okay, you can't Roman part. Roman part? Roman fire. not allowed on the desk because his brother's not allowed on the desk. Oh, plus me. Okay, right. We have magic charge now. Which restores What? Restore 10 with that, that could be a game changer. Anyway, I'm gonna kill him plus Clint, but. because it has to be. Yeah, the acid ghosts are going to be the problem. Because I don't have an archer on that side. I probably should have put Diego on that side instead of the other. Oh, I actually can get hit by the ice. Yeah, I guess that range, I can see that. Side. Dolan can reach. 
I didn't get to see Dolan's new attack. You're just smacking him with an axe. That's it. That's all Dolan needs to do. I am a little concerned about this group. Which is why I'm gonna do the silly. I think that is I think this is the spot that allows me to do the silly the best. Oh, stupid range and height and stuff. Can't hit too many of them that way. That way I can hit three of them. That'll do. Oh yeah, I remember this now. I'm like a bolt. Bonk. Bonk. As you do. And then Neil and I is going to slip over here and do a little thing that we call Bishop. And what are you doing? Ow. Yeah, that's my leg. Ow. That only hits two. I actually don't hit the people I'm trying to hit. Yep, that's where I want to go. Give me verticality. This will do. Bishop. You're at one. One. Well, dang. Here I was hoping to be able to start doing the mop up. Reach any of them? new highest level in the party, who's level 22. Stupid height differences. This I can definitely do. Punch with the knife. I know it's not a knife. Possible. Yep. Ash is still going to be hurting this round because he's in range of the egg man, Cuckoo Kachoo. This is where things might get a little ugly. So I have to kill that Skelly Bro, and I have to go after that Acid Ghost. Which means... Area 
guess I can't reach anything on that side, unfortunately. Actually, no. Darius, you're going to go collect that item. Royal foil, whatever that is. Tempted to just take out the dark angle. Yeah. I think I can do that. Yep. That's probably better than taking out the flyer. Even though the flyer might cause some havoc. I think that's actually better. And I'm gonna use my healer to take out the other flyer. Offensive attack is really late, isn't it? Alright, uh, I guess I'm taking out this one. I think it actually matters which one I take out, so. Holy lightning! Ah! Okay, good. They land 36 hit points, I knew they'd be dead. And that's everybody. Okay, let's see how this turn goes, and yes, I know I have a mold saving. Yep. Ash is gonna take a beating this turn. <laughs> Rainbow. Because he's also gonna take a hit from the Eggman. Who are you hitting? You're hitting Dolan! You an idiot! The answer is yes. Or were an idiot. Okay, you hit the best possible target. I wasn't expecting a link, but I can see why at least. Yeah, you're gonna be attacking Ash. Like I said, Ash was gonna be hurting this turn. It's fine though. Nobody else is in range of Ash, so I'm not too concerned right now. And Kira gets dropped another one. Let's go ahead and save the game. Okay. Owen, you're just going to move forward. You're probably out of the rest of this one at this point. Alright, it looks like most of the forces are going to be over here, which is good. Because I have more people over here. No healers, but more people. I mean, healers, right? How much man? Should be off left? 30, you're fine. I'm wondering if this actually will reach anybody useful. That'll hit those three, and only those three. We can actually hit more people from back here. No, it's the same. No. In that case, this is actually a reasonably good spot for you. A shift. Shift isn't doing all that much damage anymore is the problem. I can't actually kill the Eggman this turn. Not damage enough for me to be able to use magic against it. I don't even think I can hit this over. Nope. 
Well, this might be a problem. Oh, you might as well ferry some... Do you feel the same amount with Fairy Light and Fairy Star? I believe we need some science at the moment. Fairy Light. Now. Just curious. Fairy Star, it is. I will probably never use Fairy Light again outside of needing some XP. That's better. Because he's going to be taking a hit, most likely. With Diego, I probably could have actually taken out the Eggman. Uh, I wish I would have thought about that. Good curiosity. Yeah, I could have. Damn it. Oh well. Bit late. We got this mess to deal with. Which really isn't much of a mess anymore. You're both level 21. You're level 21. You're level 21. You're level 21. Everybody here is level 21. Okay. When in doubt, I actually have to get up closer because of the stupid drain. Oh, my. Why not? It's like 3 XP. Well, I wish you all could see how cool he's doing when he's pulled up in my life. Miss! Pizza time. hit both of them. You know how infuriating that is when they're that close to each other? Plus, it's better. Amen. You're probably going to be the one going after that chest. Clint. going to be on turn five, so we only have three turns left to defeat the remaining three pillars. That's not going to be too bad. Ow. Ghosts are going to be the problem. See, that spin actually looks almost cool, but still awkward. You actually can range. I was not expecting this. Thunderball! Eh. Not too bad. Way more damaged. What? They're not weak against magic. Oh. Rainbow Arc! Paragon Arc? I just. That attack looks a little weird to me, though. But the reason why I did this 
the way I did... Oh, I am poisoned. Oh. Was specifically so I could spread out the attacks. And here. Who's level one. Luckily, everybody has healing on them. You actually picked a reasonably good spot to stay in that, didn't you? Reasonably. Not perfect. I think I'll have Sarah take care of this. Healing circle. So the first thing that we need to do... Eat it. Bye! The reason why I'm healing him is one XP, and two because he's actually in danger of being attacked by enemies from the other side at this point. Okay, you can, yes, you can reach that next turn, good. The next turn will be the last turn, I believe. I do have this mess to deal with still. anywhere else useful, so yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, spread force hit things. Actually, if I move here, I think spread force might be able to hit everything. Yes! Spread force! There's more damage than base shift. If I remember right. Yeah, it does. We took out two of them. Good job. have a cure potion of me. I also have an origin that I could just get rid of that thing. Both of those things. That actually probably makes a lot of sense. Yep. Time to use up an origin. It had one hit point left. mean Grog will survive another day. I know he's still poisoned. Oh, actually, Fairy Star might remove status also. I don't know. Nope, it doesn't. Okay. I couldn't remember on that one. I think there is a spell that actually removes both. And Darius, once more, you're my gopher. Leather Man. And Dolan are the only ones left. Dolan, just stand there, I guess. Neil and I, uh, I don't think you can actually get anything from here. Oh, you actually can take that one out. Eh. All right. 
we'll be able to get all the items next turn and end it easily. So, sweet. Because we need to do this in eight turns. We will be doing this in six. And we even killed all the enemies. We did not rush any I can speak of. Well, I think this is the earth turn that they start complaining about we need to hurry up. Nope, it's next turn that we need to hurry up. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our stuff. We have found Mithril! Congratulations! We can now go to the Dwarven uh, village and get Mithril. Uh, the shiny you know what, Dolan? You've been so patient. I'm gonna let you do this. Mostly because somebody else... Ooh, life orb. Mostly because somebody else can heal instead, and that's probably more XP. Not probably, definitely. Heal circle. this magic charge out, shall we? Yeah, it looks a lot like a healing. Ah, uh, mage gem. Yeah. It transfers. Nice. It's actually a really easy way of gaining XP if you had two people with that. Okay, the real question is, can you paralyze anyone? Nope. Oh, that's right. I was going to show that um, they're probably in... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, they're probably in a fish shift range now. Um, Frog is 21. Diego is 21. Diego can't reach. Darius is 20, but can't reach. Oh, Frog, finish it off, please. I'm gonna wait. Before I finish it off... Let's milk it for more XP. Fairy Star. Uh, yourself, actually, because of what? You're higher level, so you'll gain more XP to, to yourself than to Grog. Now, Grog. Heal. Uh, one! Gain 20 XP for doing one damage. Good job, Grog. But we win! Yeah, the fillers are not worth all that much money, but everything else is. Good. Not that we have any use for money right now. We haven't even bothered selling our money only items. Just saying. Alright. And I think this is the video we finally get Kira's backstory. Bum, bum. Kira looks very broken. I feel really bad for her. Why did you save me? I forget that I betrayed you. I kind of stabbed you in the back. Went so far as the, went the royal ring. What? You know how important that thing is? Uh, yeah. But we couldn't just let them kill you. Even if we sacrifice someone's life. That would... That we... Eh. Even if we sacrifice someone's life that we could have saved for the greater good, we'd be no better than hell. No, you would still be better than hell. You may not be a good person, but you would still be better than hell spites. Our fight would lose all meaning. No, it wouldn't. Damn it, people. Why is lawful good so really bad at being good? Are you saying that I can turn over a new leaf? No matter how hard life is, you have to go on. Just a requirement. I'm sure there's gotta be something you still need to do. 
whatever it is, we're here to help. And I am so confused. So yeah. Now we get backstory. I was born into a royal family. We were royal and paint only and poorer than those peasants. So, fun fact. If you actually look at the uh, Japanese manual, the Japanese manual has a spoiler for this, um, you will find that Kira's family name is the same as Eamon's family name. Lean, specifically. Which, I think Eamon's supposed to be an orphan. Or just somehow estranged from his family. They don't really go into any details whatsoever on this. So it's actually possible that Eamon and Kira are related to each other. Or it's just a coincidence. Who knows? I was blessed with warm and loving parents, and I was very happy. That's right. Someone didn't have a horribly traumatic childhood. That was teenagerhood. But that all started uh, changed when the revolution started. That ended when the Fire Nation came. Mother, father, sister, all killed by rioting mobs during the war. Yes, it's true. Rampaging mobs went crazy. They looted homes and slaughtered thousands of innocents. Remember what I said about this being a lot a lot of references to the French Revolution? Yeah, I was not exaggerating. Really, this part can fit into most revolutions. Um, be wary of anyone who teaches history and tries to demonstrate a clean, violent revolution. They don't exist. Uh, players of mine in my Sharda campaign are starting to uh, have started to find out that not all historical revolutions were as sanitized as their history books have said, shall we say. So, the Astraria that we're so proud of, it was filled with the blood of innocence? Uh, yeah, that's kind of a revolution thing. But the Empire wants to repeat the tragedy. Whatever we do, we've got to stop him. But what do we do now? The Emperor has the Magic Stone and the Royal Ring. That's the thing that contains the Flames of Judgment and the thing that activates the Flames of Judgment. Ah. Uh, There's still a way. Hmm? Well, speak up, man! Inscribed on the ring is a message. It's in the language of the Bruni Empire. I believe it gives coordinates to a place in the Torog Mountains. Uh, what could be there? I haven't the foggiest. But, well. What else are we going to do? Otherwise, we're all dead. Even though you're the leader of a revolution that's actually winning in the southern parts of Asharia. Well, alrighty then. Let's head for the Torog Mountains. So yes, Kira has joined up with our party again, but is whatever level she was when she left. And that ends chapter four. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'm going to stop recording, get something to drink, get more to drink this is mostly empty now and i will start this back up again immediately after see you in a while in your case two days in my case uh like a minute or two bye